Hello everyone, this is Dr. Elias from Department of Education, Hazara University, Mansehra. In this presentation, I would like to briefly uh, discuss some of the trends in the education system in Pakistan. This is basically a topic from one of the subjects that the MPhil education students study. So let's see what are some of the current trends. The first one is actually the privatization of education. Over the recent years, um, it has been observed that in Pakistan, education at the various levels has been increasingly uh, in going into the hands of private stakeholders. And so we see that there are there is a mushrooming growth of schools, colleges, and now even universities in the private sector. There are quite a few factors that are uh, impacting this particular trend uh, that we will discuss in, uh, in some future presentation. But here, uh, it, is, it is actually just to identify some of these trends and so privatization has been a trend that is impacting the educational scenario um, quite significantly in Pakistan. And perhaps um, a time might come when the private sector, when schools, colleges and universities in the private sector might outnumber those in the public sector. Then we have uh, the other trend um, that one can see is the that higher academic and professional qualification for teachers. So there was a time like two, three decades ago uh, when uh, teachers at the various levels, at the school level, college level, and university level, didn't have the kind of academic and professional qualifications that teachers have got now. For instance, at the school level, it was in many cases for primary school level, teachers were qualified up to metric level or the higher secondary level. But now you can, uh, uh, can see that master degree holders um, and, and, and teachers who are professionally qualified as well with uh, uh, teacher education qualifications are now they are working in these schools. Similar is the case with college level teachers where the basic qualification was master's degree that had now gone into MPhil and PhD degree. And at the university level, uh, the trend is that mostly in both private and public universities, the minimum qualification has now become a PhD in the particular field. So this is now a trend that higher education and higher professional and academic qualification is required of teachers. Then the next trend is competition among educational institutions. Um, this, is, this has mainly happened because of the privatization of educational institutions and, and so it has almost become a market of the education where um, various private enterprises uh, and, and educational institutions in the name of educational institutions are actually competing with each other. Uh, this was not the case when most of the education was actually public sector. Um, but this has now become one of, the, one of the main trends in the field of education in Pakistan that educational, various educational institutions at the lower level or at the higher level or at the middle level uh, competing with each other. And so there are a number of factors that are actually impacting this competition, including the desire of the individual educational institutions to recruit more and more students in their educational institutions. And of course, the money factor um, or the economic factor is also one that is playing its role in it. Then we have the, um, the next trend is the English medium institutions. This, is, this might not be a very new trend, but increasingly 
uh, um, there was a time when most of the schools were in the public sector and so usually the uh, the mother tongue or the national language was used urdu was used as a medium of instruction although that is still the case um, in perhaps the majority of the schools but still um, at least in terms of the nomenclature there is a trend that um, more and more educational institutions are actually identifying themselves as English medium institutions. The other trend, trend I would say is the increasing gender parity. Well, again, because of the socioeconomic um, cha changes in the socioeconomic conditions of the people and because of the increasing uh, globalization and because of access to uh, so more sources of information and also maybe because of the uh, more economic stability perhaps um, there is uh, this trend that uh, more and more women are now getting into the education um, at the school and college and university level and in many cases um, there are certain uh, certain um, educational systems or cer certain professions in which uh, females have even kind of out uh, performed their male counterparts and so parents are uh, increasingly um, getting aware of the importance of female education and as a result <clears throat> we can see that uh, both brothers and sisters uh, go to similar kind of education and so there is this uh, phenomenon of the increasing gender parity, both in terms of students going into educational institutions, but also in terms of teachers and other educational stakeholders um, in terms of gender, there is an increasing equality in, uh, the, uh, in the education system in Pakistan. <coughs> then we have the um, the, the next trend is um, the student-centered approaches or teaching methods. In um, like a, a two or three decades ago, uh, in a traditional classroom system um, and in traditional approaches to education, the uh, educational process was more teacher-centered. So teacher was actually the center of the universe in the college and in the school and in the classroom. That has also, to a great extent, changed now. And so the modern trend is, um, is on actually a focus on the central role of the student in the educational process rather than, uh, than the teacher. And that has actually, that has also impacted uh, the teaching methods um, as well. And then the changing status of um, teacher-student relationship, which um, some people would um, term as democratization. So it's increasingly in uh, because of the privatization, mainly privatization of the educational institutions, the role of the teacher and the student and the student-teacher relationship has changed. And that has actually led to a more collaborative sort of relationship between them, rather than the master and um, and, uh, the disciple kind of relationship. And so that has also changed as a result. And then the increasing use of technology, <clears throat> both in the public and private um, universities, colleges, and school level, we see that there is an increasing use of technology in the process of education. And right now I'm using this uh, technology uh, for the educational purpose, this is a, this is a current, a very uh, current and clear example of the use of technology. So I'm sitting at my home, <clears throat> home, and uh, I'm trying to deliver uh, this particular uh, presentation or lecture. Um, and my students are not here; they are staying at their homes. But I'm, I'm hoping that they will listen to this and they will actually get benefited from this. And so this is an example of the increasing use of technology um, in the education 
especially the recent COVID, COVID um, pandemic has uh, actually pushed everyone uh, to learn technology and to make use of technology because uh, failure to, le to, to learn technology and to make use of technology is actually uh, will lead you to excluding uh, to exclusion from the educational process. So the next thing is the higher education. Um, increasingly, there was a time when the trend was the master degree a was like the kind of the ultimate qualification that people wanted to achieve. But now this has changed because of the uh, because of um, uh, investment, the higher level of investment in, in Pakistan in higher education. Uh, plus, because of the international trend of um, getting uh, to the higher levels of education, such as PhD, MPhil, and PhD, um, that has also impacted the education sector in Pakistan. And now, students aspire to get to at least MPhil and um, ultimately to PhD levels. Um, and so there is an increasing trend of uh, going beyond the master level or the bachelor levels and um, getting MPhil and PhD degrees. Then we have the other trend is the change in, in the evaluation ex and examination system. Um, this has also become more technology centered Plus, um, more objectivity has in, uh, creeped into the system in terms of the more uh, subjective or essay-based questions, increasing uh, trend of uh, objective type questions and short questions, um, and also the use of technology in the examination and evaluation system has creeped into the system. And changes in syllabus, uh, again, uh, this is something that has actually become a trend, uh, an increasing trend, because there was a time when changes in syllabus, actually in syllabi, took uh, um, sometimes even decades for some change to happen. But that has also become uh, more frequent now. So you can see um, these are some of the trends that are um, here in the education system uh, that are current in the education system in Pakistan. There might be other trends as well. So uh, the, the viewers and listeners and my students are encouraged to come up with their own uh, set of trends that they find, that they see, that they observe in the education system in uh, Pakistan and maybe elsewhere as well. So again, thank you very much for your attention and as usual if you have questions and comments please give those comments and questions in the comment section